everyone welcome back to my channel today i have a little bit of a different video but it is a video that i've been kind of teasing for a little while now and it was actually an idea that was brought up by one of you so i had i believe it was on the second kit that i have down here which is forever in my heart from diamond art club um i had somebody comment asking if I could compare Diamond Art Club's old square drills to their new square drills. Now, their new squ square drills aren't like super new. They've been around for at least six months now. I would say kits have pretty much been exclusively the new drills. So I'll get into what makes the new drills the new drills in a few minutes. But um, Diamond Art Club made the switch to manufacturing their own drills in-house for both round and squares. Maybe they started the process about a year ago. I don't have like a connection with Diamond Art Club. So this is kind of just me going off of information from um, like people that do sneak peeks for Diamond Art Club um, that kind of have that open line of communication with the company. So if I get anything wrong or if you have heard differently, please let me know and I will, you know, correct or edit things as needed. Um, but from my understanding, they kind of started the process maybe about a year ago. Um, they started integrating their own in-house diamonds. Obviously, they wanted to uh, use up everything that they had. You know, got to use up what you have before you start replacing, right? So they, you started getting kits that maybe had one color or two colors of the new drills mixed in with the old batches. So what makes the new diamonds the new diamonds so previously diamond art club did a mix of 10 facet and 13 facet square diamonds now i do have examples of everything i will show you some colors but what that means is that on the 10 facet square diamonds there was always a square on top of those diamonds and for the 13 there is a diamond shape so they, I guess it helps them be a little more shiny, perhaps, um, is what I've heard. So let's just kind of get into everything that I have here. So I have four kits, four square kits to show you guys. Now, all of these I have done post reviews on. I'm not sure if this particular kit is up yet, but I have filmed a post review. So I have two sets of drills here from Too Old. Uh, Diamond Art Club Square kits, Sunny Road to the Sea and Quiet Cove. And then I have new drills for this particular kit, Abstract Cat. This is a kit that has every single color is the new square drills. Sorry, that was my oven telling you that it's preheated. Um, now, at the time that I did this, I posted this post review and um, somebody asked about this video and gave me the idea. I had already de-kitted this one, so I didn't have the drills available to use as my examples, which is why I was waiting until I had time to work on a kit that had all new drills. Now, if you remember my post review for Forever In My Heart, which I will just pull to the top here so you can see what kit I'm talking about. I did not have a great time <laughs> with this kit, which was really sad because um, I'm sure you can see the intended meaning of this piece. Um, and I had hoped to enjoy it a little bit more than I did. Um, but I had a lot of issues with the new drills. Now this kit was exclusively new drills. Yes, it was. Um, and I didn't love it. Um, I, I love it, like I love the piece but I didn't love the process. So I will link the post re review for this kit. I probably should have watched it back before I did this video, but I didn't think about it. Um, but I don't know if you can see, these drills just didn't fit together very well and I was disappointed. So let's get into the drills that I have available to look at. All right, I have a bunch of trees <laughs> because I wanted to be able to share everything with you guys. So we need three trays there. We need three trays here. Let's start with the old drills. So I'm going to do, this is Quiet Cove. So 
So older Diamond Art Club square drills were pretty infamous for trash. Now, I don't have an issue with trash. Having trash drills, if you watch my post reviews, I say a lot of the time, listen, as long as I have enough drills to complete the kit, I didn't run out of any colors, I don't care how much trash I have. I have so many spares, I probably don't even need to collect my spare drills anymore. Um, I just do, but it's not that big of a deal to have trash. All right. So let's start here. Now, the easiest way to tell, oh, you know what? Quiet Cove actually has, oh no, they don't. Never mind. So these are the old drills. I'm hoping I can get close enough to the camera to focus so that you can see the square on top. Now, like I said, the old drills were a mix of both. So you'll have some squares on top, which this one here is, and then right next to it is one that has a diamond. So these two right here. Hopefully that's in focus because I'm short and can barely see the screen. So that's a good indication that you have a old Diamond Art Club kit. Now, there are some colors that have, I'm just looking to make sure that this color was also, it definitely is. This kit, which one is this? Quiet Cove. This 100% has all of the old square drills. I know that because I purchased this uh, it's under here. I will show it to you. Um, I purchased this at least a year and a half ago, maybe even two years. I don't even think we were living in this house when I made that purchase. So again, they are shiny, like they're sparkly. You're getting some shine, but it does have the mix of 10 and 13 facet drills. Here is the trash for Quiet Cove. Again, I will move everything and show it to you shortly. But that kit is roughly, I don't remember off the top of my head, but I'm going to say it's like a 76 by 54. That's kind of a sweet spot for some of, most of the Chuck Pinsons. There are some that are larger, but that's a lot of trash, right? Quite a bit, lots of trash there. Now, Sunny Road to the Sea, let me just, take a quick look here, is the same. I've also had this kit for probably about the same time. I purchased this one on release. I remember that very clearly. So again, these are the old drills. You can see the, the square tops and the diamond shaped tops, which means it's a mixture of 10 and 13 facet drills. I'm gonna like, I feel like I'm gonna say that a lot. I just kind of wanna make sure that I'm, I'm saying that. Uh, so that you have an idea. Um, here is the trash for that kit. Again, quite a bit of trash. This is quite a bit smaller than Quiet Cove. So that is a bit of trash, but again, I didn't run out of any drills, so that's good. And then the drills for Abstract Cat are the new drills. So let me pick a color that I think will be easy to show. Let's try this color. So these are definitely the new drills. And I'm hoping that the camera is picking up that these all have the diamond cut on top, meaning that they are all 13 facet drills. And these are the drills that Diamond Art Club is manufacturing in-house. Let me see if I can grab you one more color that might be a little easier. Maybe this blue. This is $7.96, yes. God, it's been so long since I've used these itty bitty trays. It's so funny. Uh, hopefully this will pick up. These are again, all 13 facet drills. Every color in this kit was the new drills. 
Now, let me get all this stuff put away or at least put to the side so I can reference back to them. And I will show you what that looks like on the kit. So I will be right back. Okay, so I have everything just moved to the side so we can take a look again in a little bit if we need to, but I'm just going to show you a couple of examples of kits that are fully new drills and kits that are a mix of uh, the 10 and 13 facet, which again are the old Diamond Art Club drills. Now, this kit here, like I said before, this is forever in my heart. It's a Mandy Manzano. Uh, this one is a 70 by 50 centimeter. Now, like I said before, I do not have the drills for this kit. I had already kitted down um, by the time this video was requested. So I will link the post review for this so you can kind of get a feel. But I do have uh, my notes from that post review, which I just want to reference really quickly. If I can find it. Um... So I had three drill colors that were very troublesome, and that was 355, 3826, and 435. Now those are different colors completely. 435 is like a tan peachy, like a lighter color. 3826 is kind of like a burnt orangey color, and 355 is maybe similar to 3826, kind of like a, a darker burnt orange type color. Now I had a lot of issues with those drills and the number of holes that were in on the top of them. So here's the issue that I had with this kit and the new drills. Yes, I had a lot of trash, but like I said earlier, I'm okay with trash as long as I don't run out of colors. I did run out of, I want to say, 3371. I didn't write that down, but I am pretty confident that I ran out of that color drill, but I had some in my stash and I made it work. Now, when the new drills first started coming out, the they were cut better, whereas they didn't have like a lot of tabs. They didn't have a lot of issues um, with laying together and lining up. The issue was that they were so well cut that there was a lot of gapping because the drills were essentially smaller because they fit so well together so that you didn't really need that extra allowance for maybe you accidentally lay down a drill that has a little nub on the side and um, they don't line up perfectly. That led to the new drills on the old canvases not looking very well in my personal opinion. So this kit, like I've mentioned, obviously, because it is in my new drills example set, um, that kind of ruined this kit for me personally. I had planned to frame this and I still might because it means a lot to me personally, but it's not one that I necessarily want to display in my home. Like I would probably put it in a room where people don't often go. Um, but this top area was a huge issue for me. So it is the lighter drills. And I single placed most of this because I got so annoyed <laughs> that um, I pulled everything up and replaced it. So there is quite a lot of gapping. These are you know, supposed to fit together better. They didn't. Um, I personally think that this kit is one of the earlier kits of all the new drills, whereas, like I said before, there were some that kind of had a mix of both. I think this was one of the earlier kits that had all new drills, and it was before Diamond Art Club had fixed the canvas uh, spacing issue. So I... I'm not going to lie, this left a really bad taste in my mouth for the new square drills. And I was like, I can't do it. <laughs> I need the old squares. I prefer the old squares. And I was a little upset, but this, I still love it, right? I still love this piece. It's still uh, one that I loved working on and it is what it is. Now, moving to my other example for the new square drills. This one here is Abstract Cat, and I absolutely loved this one. 
So this is, again, all of the new square drills. And I had such a great experience, which is what leads me to believe that the other kit that I just showed you over here was one of the earlier runs of having all of the new squares in one kit. This, these drills lined up perfectly. There's like barely any gapping at all. Um, the black was phenomenal to work with. I did replace all of one color with some ABs, so I'm just gonna kind of ignore the white because that's not a Diamond Art Club drill. But everything else is, and I was really, I enjoyed this so much better. I, I had a really great experience, and I had like little to no trash. So this is a 51 by 51, so it is smaller than the other one, but I had like, I don't even know if this is worthy <laughs> of talking about, but I am really, really happy to see that it seems like Diamond Art Club has really ironed out and perfected their square drills. So in my post review, I don't think this one has gone up yet, but I did say like, I need to eat dirt because the square drills are actually are actually good. I had a much, much, much better experience with the new squares. So I'm gonna pull this one back out in just a few minutes because I do wanna show you guys uh, the shine. But let's talk about canvases with the old drills. Now, this is Sunny Road to the Sea. I do have a post review up for this one as well. Ignore this <laughs> this line here, that's a, a me issue. I multi-placed that and I didn't fix it very well. But I added quite a few ABs in this kit, but I did still wanna share the kits with the old drills because I do think that they are super shiny as well. Um, before Abstract Cat, I was a firm believer in the old squares. I was like, I'm not messing around with the new squares. Uh, I've got plenty of old of kits with the old in my stash, but um, I'm happy to report that you can still enjoy using both. So this is again, Sunny Road to the Sea. I did add ABs to this one, but you can still get the feel of Diamond Art Club's old squares. I don't know why I keep saying Diamond Art Club because obviously this video is all about Diamond Art Club. And then here is another example of the old squares. This is Quiet Cove. Uh, this is a Chuck Pinson. I did not alter this kit at all. This one is done completely as charted. So actually I'll probably um, use this one and the Forever In My Heart kit to show the difference in shine. I still think that Diamond Art Club squares, old and new, are the best sparkly square drills available. I have worked on many squares from other companies and regardless of old versus new, I think that Diamond Art Club's uh, squares are the best. They're super sparkly. If you're new to diamond painting, normally the squares are not as sparkly as rounds. It just kind of goes that way. Uh, round drills have more facets and, you know, I could go on and on about nerding out about diamond painting, but <laughs> I do think that both the old and new are super sparkly. However, I personally think the Diamond Art Club's old squares are more sparkly than their new squares. And I feel like that's kind of a hot take. <laughs> Let me know what you think. But I think that the mix of 10 and 13 facets, you just, you're kind of always getting sparkle off of a different kind of angle. And I do believe personally that the old drills are more sparkly than the new, but here is the new new drills with sparkle and the old drills with sparkle i don't know let me know what you think do you think the old drills or the new drills are more sparkly and shiny so i i think i'm going to leave it there because i'm really interested to hear um your guys's thoughts and if you guys have any questions um if there's anything that you think i miss please let me know um, the easiest way to tell if you have the new Diamond Art Club squares versus the old is if you have, um, I'm looking for these, 
and I'm looking for these. The easiest way to tell is if you have a tray that has square and diamond tops like we have here. We've got two squares and then two diamond tops right next to each other. So these four drills right here. That is the best way to tell that this is an older set of drills versus this color here that has all diamonds on top. So let me know if you have any other questions, if you think I missed anything, um, if you have any, uh, if you have anything to add to this video, please add it down below in the comments and I'll like pin your comment or whatever. Um, but yeah, I've been looking forward to comparing these side by side. So hopefully this was helpful to you guys. And again, let me know if you have any questions and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. I'm just popping in to say that, because I don't know that I actually <laughs> said this during my video, that um, I am happy to work with both the old drills and the new drills. I don't know that I clearly stated that. I think that they're both sparkly. I think that they're both really good quality. I think at the end of the day, Diamond Art Club's older square drills were still some of the best that were available at the time. Uh, a lot of companies have made improvements. It was only a matter of time before Diamond Art Club um, mixed them up and changed them, but I'm still happy to work on my old square kits. It's not like I have a bunch of old squares sitting in my stash that I'm never going to work on because I hate the drills because that's not the case. So um, I do believe that Diamond Art Club used to send more spares just in my experience I have more spares left over in the older kits so even if I do have an older square drill set that doesn't have um, the best of drills I'm pretty confident that I will have plenty and if I don't then Diamond Art Club is really good about shipping out replacement drills if needed so I just wanted to pop in really quickly and say I'm still happy to work with both the old and the new um, I don't think they're that different um, other than you don't have a mix of 10 and 13 facet anymore. So I think that's all. I'll pop in again if I need to, but let's get back to the video. <laughs>